only plastic bottles are recyclable. Myth. There's so many different plastics that can be recycled. In fact, most plastic can be recycled and much of it is being recycled now because the infrastructure is growing to recycle it all. You can recycle buckets, pails, crates, tubs, clamshells, cups, even film bags and wraps are recyclable. All this material is recyclable and it should be recycled. If you are in the industry and you're looking for a market for your recycled plastics, go to plasticsmarkets.org and we have a list of buyers and suppliers of scrap plastic and we can hook you up with someone who will buy your plastic or who you can buy plastic from. All these materials are being recycled well beyond bottles. And what is it being made into? Well, a lot of it's being made into the same stuff. Buckets, crates, carts, back into new containers, clamshells, things like railroad ties or plastic lumber to be made into decking. These are all materials that use recycled plastic. Plastic caps shouldn't be recycled. Myth. Plastic caps can be recycled. In fact, I encourage you very strongly that when you finish whatever is in that bottle, empty the bottle, squeeze it, and put the cap back on. The recycling system is set up to handle those different materials. For example, a PET bottle, that's polyethylene terephthalate, the soda bottles, the water bottles, those have polypropylene caps. The recycling system will take the cap and the bottle, it'll grind it up, and then they put it into a float sink tank. The caps float off, they gather those all up, send them off to be recycled into a variety of products. The bottles sink, and they send that, once it's washed, to be made into fiber or into new bottles or into clamshells. So please recycle your caps. Plastic can only be recycled once. Myth. Plastic is just long carbon chains and it can be recycled indefinitely. It can be chemically recycled with no degradation of the material whatsoever, forever. But most of the plastic recycling that's happening today is mechanical recycling, where the material gets separated by material type, ground up and melted down after it's washed and extruded into new products. You can, with that melting, have heat history where if it's a clear plastic like the soda bottles or uh, milk jugs, if it's been through too many heat cycles, you can actually get some yellowing in, in the recycled material. But quite honestly, the plastic recycling industry would like to have the problem of material coming through their system too many times. There is more demand than supply for this material you would have to have an 80% or better plastic recycling rate for the material to even show up as yellowing as a problem that couldn't be solved. Plastic can only be downcycled into a lower quality product, myth. Plastic can be recycled back into the, new, into the same material. It can be recycled from bottles into bottles, from crates and carts into crates and carts, and even from plastic bags into new plastic bags. There are over 132 letters of non-objection that have been filed with the Food and Drug Administration. A letter of non-objection, basically what that is, is the Food and Drug Administration tells the plastic recycler that with their process, the material that they use can be made into packaging that is in contact with food. So you can go from a food package back into a food package. There is a lot of recycling that's going on directly from one material to a similar package. Uh, there's no need in many cases what some people term downcycle it, but often that is the best market. Uh, a long-term market for material. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it doesn't have to happen. Plastic bags are filling up our landfills. Myth. In fact, plastic bags are only about a half a percent or less of the material that is going into landfills. They are recyclable, however, and you should recycle them. 
And not just the bags, the bags you hear a lot about, but you have a lot of material in your household that is the same material as the bags. The wrap that goes around your toilet paper, for example, and many other products like that, bread bags, dry cleaner bags, all these are a similar type of plastic film, that thin material, and they should be recycled and they can be. So when you go to the store and you forget to bring your reusable bag and you get a plastic bag, take it home and stuff all that other material into it. And then when you go back to the store with your reusable bag, bring that sack full of film and bags and wraps back to the store and recycle it. And if you're not sure which materials are okay or you want to know where you can take it, you can go to plasticbagrecycling.org and there is a database that will tell you where you can recycle your plastic bags and film and wraps and it will also tell you which ones are okay to include. And by the way, food is the number one item in landfills. Degradable is better. Myth. Why do you want to take a perfectly good manufactured good and break it up into little pieces so that then it, what, goes away? The one thing that you learn right away in this industry is there is no away. So degradable is good for banana peels and leaves, but it's not good for manufactured goods and it's not good for plastic. Plastic should be captured and the inherent energy in it should be reused and you save energy by recycling plastic over using virgin material. And when do these products decide to degrade anyway? Doesn't make sense. Plastic sent to China for recycling is just burned. Myth. I've been over there, I've seen the systems. They spend a lot of money to ship it from the US, transport it through Hong Kong into mainland China, and they're not gonna then take it and burn it for fuel. They have lower cost sources of fuel than our scrap plastic. There's a lot of business and industry and in China, and they need this scrap plastic as a lower cost feedstock. So as long as it's plastic that is, is clean, ready to go, they can sort it out into a variety of different materials. They do a better job than we do sorting it into the materials and reusing it as a low-cost feedstock. There is an island of plastic out in the Pacific. Myth. I've spoken to a research scientist who has been out on the Pacific Gyre where this uh, mythical island is said to exist. And in fact, there is a higher abundance of material in the Pacific Gyre, things that float in the ocean. There's more of it out there, that is true. And some of that is plastic. But w they told me when they were out there in that Pacific Gyre and they looked out, they could not tell by looking out into the ocean that they were in the Pacific Gyre and that they were in this so-called island of plastic. Uh, and while I don't want to downplay the uh, issue of plastics in the ocean because they should not be there, I think that there's a lot of misunderstanding about it and people think that they can go out there and somehow harvest this material and bring it back. And that's just not the case. It is far too dispersed to do that. Um, Scripps Institution of Oceanography did a research study recently to start studying this and that's very important. We need to know what are the impacts of this material on the environment in the ocean. And there's a lot of research to learn that, but there is no island. Scrap plastic has a low value. It's not worth much. Myth. Of all the commonly recycled materials. Scrap plastic has the second highest value after the non-ferrous metals. 
It's more valuable on a per weight basis than most of the other materials that are recycled. And we shouldn't use this so-called low value as a reason not to collect it and recycle it because it, it even the mixed material has a high enough value to make it worthwhile to collect and recycle. EPS can't be recycled. Myth. What's EPS? <laughs> Expanded polystyrene. Uh, you might have heard of it as styrofoam. Uh, and I often hear people tell me that it cannot be recycled. Well, it can and it is being recycled. In fact, here in California, we have a plant that is taking uh, this foam material and recycling it into picture frames and selling those picture frames all over the country. It's not an easy material to recycle because it is so lightweight, so you can't transfer it too far without some kind of processing, uh, densification, but it can and it is being recycled, and it should be. Recycling plastic uses more energy than it saves. Myth. Life cycle analyses have been done to show that when you recycle plastic, in this case specifically PET, the water and soda bottles, you save over 80% of the energy of what you would use by starting with virgin material. Whenever you have a consumer good or a manufactured product, it's always better to recycle it because of that intrinsic energy that's in the manufacturing process. And that's why it has value. These materials have scrap value because it's less expensive and more energy efficient to use recycled than it is virgin materials. That's true of many materials, including plastic.